Today, we're going to be teaching you about American football positions, and we're going to be looking at the offense and the defense today. But to start, we're going to look at the offense, and there's four position groups for the offense. The offensive linemen, the running backs, the wide receivers, and the quarterback. The first position group we're going to teach you is the offensive line. Now, we're first we're going to start with the center, and the center is one of the most important positions as they will deliver the ball to the quarterback in order to start the play. The next position on the offensive line is the offensive guards, and there's two of them, and their job is to protect the quarterback and also move defensive players out of the way so the running back can run. And in this picture here, 64 and 70 are represented as the offensive guards. The last two remaining players on the offensive line are what we call offensive tackles, and they're demonstrated here by the two outermost players. They are also responsible for protecting the quarterback in the pass, as well as moving defenders for the run. That about wraps it up for the offensive linemen. If there is any questions, let us know in the comment section below, and we can answer any questions about the offensive line. The next position in the position group is the running backs which will be running the football after the ball is handed off from the quarterback. The running back will typically line up behind the quarterback about five yards behind them, or in the new spread offense, they'll line up next to the quarterback. Either way, they're in distance of the quarterback. That way they can take a handoff and then run upfield successfully. Now that we've gone over offensive linemen and running back, Let's transition to the wide receiver position. And this position will be catching the football and gaining positive yards after they catch it. There are two types of receivers that coaches use. One being the wide receiver, meaning it's the widest guy that can catch the football. Or in our example here, we're seeing a slot receiver labeled by the SR, meaning they're lined up in the slot position in between the widest guy and the offensive line. The final position is the quarterback position, who, of course, will be delivering the football to both the running back and the wide receiver positions. The quarterback is one of the most important positions on the field. They will take the snap from the center, either standing directly behind him, like we have in this picture here, or in a shotgun snap where he stands about four yards behind the center, getting the football, handing it to the running back or throwing it to the wide receivers. That's all for the offensive positions. If there is any questions, please let us know in the comments below and we're happy to answer those questions. Now moving on to the defensive side of the football. There's three positions on the defensive side of the football. There's the defensive linemen, the linebackers, and the defensive backs. The first position group on defense is the defensive line. And this is the position that lines up closest to the football most likely with their hands on the ground, ready to attack the offensive line and try to get to the quarterback or the running back with the football. The defensive line is typically quicker and bigger players that can disrupt the offensive line. The next position is the linebacker position. The linebacker position is exactly what it sounds like. They line up in back of the defensive line and this position must be versatile because they need to be able to attack the run as well as play the pass. In this picture here, we're seeing the two guys that are in the middle of the defense are the linebackers. We've gone over both the defensive line and the linebackers. Now let's cover the last position, which is the defensive backs. Defensive backs are typically smaller, speedier players that are able to cover wide receivers. Defensive backs are broken up into two categories, corners and safeties. And in this picture we'll see here, the corners are the widest defensive backs and the safeties are the deepest players on the field. And that wraps up our position segment. If you do have a question, please leave a comment in the comment section below and we'll get back to you as soon as we possibly can. If there is any other questions, please feel free to reach out to us directly and we'll try to answer as many questions as we can. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.